Why were city crews working overtime all weekend? The city streets chief insists it was money well spent. Only on News 3, our Linda Eggert has the story from our backyard patio. Linda. Hi, guys. Well, despite all the talk of lean times at City Hall, uh, we're told Madison Street Superintendent uh, Al Schumacher tells us that he believes his department will spend just under $100,000 on overtime for leaf pickup this fall. But uh, Al Schumacher, the street's chief, uh, tells us all the extra effort is worth it and budgeted for anyway. Schumacher sent 45 streets workers out both Saturday and Sunday on overtime to take advantage of the weather. Schumacher says 17,000 tons of leaves have to be collected every fall, mostly in November. And a late leaf drop left too many leaves on the streets, too close to the first winter snowfall. He says just picking them up during a regular hours during the week isn't an option. We don't want to take that chance because if we didn't uh, continue to work on this, try to get as many leaves as we can collected, uh, there will be way too many leaves on the street, on the terraces, um, and that's not uh, doing what the public wants. Three-person uh, streets crews will be out again this Saturday doing leaf pickup, the three overtime days, plus the OT from some 10-hour shifts during the week come to roughly $120,000. But Schumacher says after some workers tank comp instead of uh, pay, he believes uh, that the uh, OT for the leaf pickup should come in just right around what was budgeted for 2009, and that's $96,000. Now, we're told that the mayor was consulted about the OT and uh, consented to it. You'll uh, recall that the mayor has proposed a citywide wage freeze. He's currently trying to negotiate that with the streets union and every other city union. News 3's Linda Eggert on our backyard patio. Linda, thank you.